Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is another on the induction motor series and here we will be solving example 7.4. So straight away go to the example, a two pole six, a 50 hertz induction motor supplies 15 kilowatt to a load at a speed 2950 revolutions per minute. We have to find these four parameters, we will deal them uh, one by one. So the first one is what is the motor slip? I have already discussed in my uh, previous videos what is a slip. Well, I'll just give you a brief here. This is the stator and this is stator magnetic field. Now stator magnetic field is fixed uh, depending on the number of pole and the frequency. But the rotor uh, in this, in case of an induction motor does not have any power supply. The voltage is induced in it just like transformer and therefore its rotating magnetic field tries to catch the stator magnetic field but it lags. So just like here I have shown the lady has power so she is moving fast but the rotor does not have power trying to catch the lady so lagging. So rotor lags the stator or we can say that the rotor slips back. Okay. So that was the lighter part. Now the equation for the slip is given by this formula. Slip is n sink, that is the sink speed of the stator minus uh, motor speed and divided by n sink into 100%. Now in our case motor speed is given nm2950 revolutions per minute. Sink speed we have to calculate. And we use this formula. This is and sink is 120 Fe, P 120 and Fe is 15 hertz here frequency and two poles are divided by two. So the sink speed is 3000 revolutions per minute. And we can calculate from here. So the sink is 0 0.0167 or 1.67%. So that is the first part. The second part is what is the induced torque in the motor in Newton meters under these conditions. So the formula for induced torque is this, P converted over omega m. So what is P converted? Now in this case, in the example, the power supplies is 15 kilowatt to the load. So this is load power or the output power. We need to find P converted. But there is a point here that since this friction loss is not given, Therefore, we can assume that P converted is equal to P load or P out. So P converted must be assumed to be equal to P load since no value was given for the mechanical losses. So P converted is 15 kilowatt. Omega M we have already calculated in the previous slide. But now for the torque it has to be in radians per second. So P converted 15 kilowatt and this we convert into radians per second by multiplying by 2 pi and divided by 60. So this is our induced torque in Newton meters. The third part, what will be the operating speed if the motor, uh, uh, what will be the operating speed of the motor if torque is doubled? So torque is doubled, so what will be the speed? Now this is the torque speed curve and you can see in this region it is generally a linear. So in low slip region the torque speed curve is linear and the induced torque is directly proportional to the slip. Now the speed and slip uh, they go um, side by side. So we can say that if the torque is doubled then the new slip will also be doubled that means the new slip will be two times the old slip calculated in step one. So S new is 2 into 0. Uh, 0167 so it will be 0 0.0333 so we'll use this to calculate the um, new speed or the rotor speed we know this formula for speed nm is 1 minus s and sink we know all the parameters now so the new uh, motor speed will be 2900 revolutions per minute and the fourth part is how much power will be supplied by the motor when the torque is doubled. 
So this formula uh, for torque from here we'll calculate P converted. T induced is P converted into omega m. So P converted is T induced into omega m. We know both of these. So T induced we had calculated. New omega m we had calculated. Converting this into uh, radians per second. So multiply by 2 pi divided by 60. So this is P converted. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.